Hey everybody, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com. Happy holidays everyone. Today I just want to do like a year wrap up and just talk about some things that I've worked on through the year that have been successful, maybe some things that were not successful, and just kind of hopefully give you guys some tips and uh, maybe inspire you to do and try some new things for 2010. Uh, the first thing that was really helpful in terms of my growth this year was my ebook, theperfectsiteguide.com. I got so much positive feedback from that free book. It made me wonder, should I have charged for that book instead of offering, offering it for free? Uh, but no, I, I'm glad that I offered it for free because quite honestly, a lot of that information is information that you can find on the web. It just is consolidated in one book so you don't have to search around. And hopefully it's, it has everything that you need to know if you're thinking about starting a website. But I got so much positive feedback from that book and I, I joked about charging from it for it, but I'm really glad I didn't because the circulation has been massive. I mean, I get emails all the time from people that say, hey, you know, my cousin sent you, sent me your book, um, or I saw someone else offering your book on another website for free, which is fine. I don't have problems with people offering the book on their sites as long as they don't charge for it. So I found that eBooks, offering them for free, is really one of the best ways to get yourself out there. I know a lot of people will argue that it's better to charge because you'll have your own product and you can make money, but if you have affiliate links in the book, which I do, then you can still make money from the from the book and I just think it's worth having the circulation because obviously if the book is free, there are going to be more people that are going to be spreading it around, there are going to be more people that are going to be downloading it and to me it was worth offering it for free just for the added exposure. So that was a really, really key thing for me in 2009. The other key thing for me in 2009 was learning more about CSS, cascading style sheets. You guys, I'm, I'm always talking about this and I know some of you guys probably get sick of me mentioning it, but if you are a blogger and most of you are these days and you are using just a basic theme and you are having trouble customizing your theme or you're tired of your design, you really, really got to get your hands into CSS. I can't tell you how much it's helped me in terms of design. I'm not stuck in that you know same template mode because I know a little bit more about how to um, change things around, add new containers, style my links, um, create divs, position elements on a page and it's really really helped me and in fact if you go to my other YouTube channel, my programming channel, I have a lot of CSS videos and I also have like a four part CSS tutorial that went over really big this year for people who really wanted to get into CSS but they were intimidated by all the technical gibble gabble well that four part series kind of breaks it down into layman's terms and so people really seem to appreciate those series of videos because it taught them CSS in a way that they had never been taught before and I also give you a free template as well another thing that I got this year huge 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 help to me if you can't see it it's called the CSS anthology 101 essential tips tricks and hacks by Rachel Andrew of site point I don't know if you've ever been to site point but site point offers a lot of great tutorials books tips on design but this particular book is great and I dog eared one page if I can find it just to give you an example of, of how concise and how easy it is to follow. This is not a book to buy if you want to learn the fundamentals of CSS, like if you want to learn the hardcore fundamentals. They do go over some fundamentals in this book, enough so you know how to improve your CSS, but they don't get into the technical gibble gabble that confuse a lot of people. And it's very, very straightforward. For example, for example, let's say you want to learn how to do a navigation menu. Well, they have a section that says, how do I style a structural navigation menu? And they give you a picture of what the menu looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it. A little red navigation. And then the code for the navigation is right below it. 
So all throughout the book, they tell you how to do various things with CSS and they give you the code. And so it's a very, very good reference book for people who are learning CSS. And here's another one. How do I make a submit button look like text? How do I ensure that users with text-only devices understand how to complete my form? I mean, it's just, and then they give you the code for everything you want to do. How do I create a style sheet for printing? You know how when people print your page, you only want to print the text and not the graphics. They show you how to set up a style sheet for that. I mean, I just happened to stumble upon this. Yeah, how do I make a horizontal menu using CSS and lists? And then they give you a picture and the code. I was just browsing around Barnes & Noble one afternoon and came up on this and uh, since I really got into CSS a lot more in the last year or two, um, I've been kind of trying to get my hands on anything that I can. Also, if you buy Dreamweaver CS4, hopefully they're still doing it, you have to check before you buy, you also get a free 30 day trial to lynda.com, which is a great, great, great great site for learning not just CSS Photoshop any kind of web design language or program you want to learn Adobe products that's the site to go to and you get a free 30-day trial what you used to when I upgraded Dreamweaver CS4 back in I want to say September August or September I got the free 30-day trial so hopefully they're still offering that so definitely check before you buy so when you buy Dreamweaver you can use the lynda.com tutorials to learn how to use the Dreamweaver software because a lot of people are concerned they're like oh, if I buy Dreamweaver am I gonna have to know CSS yeah, in a sense you kind of will. And the lynda.com site does a great job of showing you how to use Dreamweaver through video. It's all video tutorials. And they also kind of help you learn a little bit about CSS. So guys, if you aren't into CSS, make that your goal for 2010. It's It will change your life, your web life anyway. Uh, the other thing, what else happened this year? Um, on the, I guess the downside, I had to discontinue my use of AdBright. If you notice on tocreativewebsite.com, I no longer have any AdBright ads on the left and right side. Unfortunately, there was a technical glitch with AdBright that would no longer allow me for some reason, and they could never figure it out, how to display, um, they couldn't figure out how to display my flat rate ads anymore. So I was losing money. So I had to take them down, which actually was sort of a blessing in disguise because now I can manage my own ads, cut out the middleman, and make more money. So in 2010, I will probably be using OIO Publisher to start accepting ads for flat rate ads from my static website to creativewebsite.com. I'm already using OIO Publisher on my blog and it's going pretty well. I love how easy it is to manage your ads. You can use OIO Publisher on a static website but you have to manually set up your database with your host and you have to do a lot more manual things than you would have to do with a blog if you buy it for your blog and you want to sell ad space it's real easy to set up you just install it just like you would any plugin but if you have a static website there's a lot more manual installation involved but I think it's totally worth it if you are going to you know sell your own ad space because you make so much more money when you cut out the middleman so I think AdBright is still a good program. It's, it's unfortunate they were having technical difficulties. I don't know. Hopefully they've gotten it fixed by now. And you can still use AdBright for CPC ads. So a lot of you guys um, who use, or maybe some of you guys unfortunately got kicked out of AdSense, so you went to AdBright for their CPC ads. You can still use it for, the, for that. They, I don't think they pay as much as AdSense. But in terms of the flat rate ads, uh, just kind of a word of caution. Um, they were having some issues and they had to refund all my advertisers because for whatever reason they weren't showing on my site. So hopefully they've gotten that fixed. So I had to, to kind of end my relationship with them this year. Um, something else that happened, Site Build It, big, big, big news for them. They now offer content 2.0 with your yearly fee. What the heck is content 2.0? As many of you know, when you buy Site Build It, it's not a blog, it's a website, it's a static website you will be creating. Well, Content 2.0 used to be $99 a year in addition to um, their $2.99 a year fee. Well, what you can do with Content 2.0 is sort of make your pages kind of like blog pages where people can add their own comments to your articles. 
Now, if you didn't have Site Build It and you just used a regular stat and you had a regular host and you had a static website like I have for twocreatorwebsite.com, you would have to literally turn your site into PHP to make that happen. But with Site Build It, they've added this functionality into their whole system. So you need no programming skills whatsoever to now use this functionality. So let's say you have a site about, I don't know, weightlifting, and you put up a new page that says, um, hey, give me your experiences with using this particular um, weight supplement or weight gain supplement. And then you can have people leave their comments just like like they would be able to do if you had a blog but now you can do that with your static website using SBI so now that all comes with your yearly fee you no longer have to pay extra for that so that is a huge huge development with site build it this year so great job um, so there's been a lot going on this year it's been a really good year as I mentioned in a previous video this has been a, a another record year I'm truly 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 blessed um, to be able to say that with all that's going on with the economy but it's it shows you what's possible out here if you take the time if you work hard if you turn up your little uh, creative juices a little bit and have some patience and most importantly have fun set goals for 2010 make sure you, you list what you want to accomplish I think that's so very important because it keeps you focused and um, guys take care and happy holidays, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.